Oh, hi, Rudy, hi. Hi, hi, Liza, where are you? We've got ad people in today and production is going crazy. Not to mention, Tad is trying to track you down. He is? Yes, Myers wants to pull the kids' right show. He's afraid our position could open us up to trouble down the line. Now, now wait a second. I studied every punctuation mark in that research. And it's that, that, that little coward. We're not endorsing adolescent anarchy. We're, 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 we're supporting basic human rights. Rudy, to tell that idiot that if he tampers with the schedule, I'm gonna let him go. I mean, come on. He's not allowed to do that. Otherwise, he could find work someplace else. We'll have to cut into the promotional budget. Brilliant. Put the product out there, but don't tell anybody about it? Uh, do a promo package for the affiliates meeting. Let them get the word out. When? End of the month. This month? Yes, this month. Business doesn't come to a grinding halt just because the fat man flies down your chimney. I'm not talking about the holidays. Aren't you supposed to be getting married? Yeah, oh, yes, of course I am. Uh, Busy month. <laughs> yeah, guess so. For God's sakes, why don't you just squeeze in a board meeting at the back of the church? Well, I'll take that into consideration. Yeah, in fact, this entire affair has about, got about as much romance as a leveraged buyout. Hopefully just as profitable. Sure. Cash advances on every anniversary, right? Uh, why not? I'll tell you why. Because you don't care about this wedding. This wedding or Liza, do you? I'll, I'll work around Myers till you get back, but that's gonna be when? I'm not sure. Okay, I'll find Tad. No, wait, wait. He can handle anything that comes his way. Yeah, you tell him. No, uh, Rudy. Hold on, hold on. I think he's with Adam. Rudy. What? I, I, I don't have time. Liza, where can he call you? He can't. What if there's an emergency? Uh, look, um, only if the world is, is ending. Then and only then I'm at the Sleepy Hollow End. Okay? Yeah, I got it. No, wait, no. You don't got it. You don't know where I am. You don't know when I'm going to be back. All right? Only if the place dissolves in a giant pile of molten rubble do you call me. Do you got it? Yes. Thank you. Bye. Somebody order takeout? Hi. <laughs> well, sounds like you're a wanted woman. So, uh, boss lady, is this cancel lunch? Oh, don't, uh, don't call me that. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, it's just that, um, decision-making and mm. nobody wants to risk their neck. Okay. So, uh, where are we going? Well, uh, I hope you're not disappointed, but we're not going to be alone. Priscilla? She's been asking about you. I've been missing her since this morning. Yeah, it's mutual. You talked to her? Yeah, a little while ago. Yeah, she, uh been wondering where the beautiful blonde is. She wants her to stop by. Hmm, you speak fluent oak. Oh, yes. Well, doesn't everybody? I don't know. Mine's a little rusty. I don't think there's anything rusty about the woman who helped light up Priscilla. I like that woman. Well, you should get to know her better. Maybe after lunch? Hungry? Starved. Good. <laughs> Priscilla waits. Oh, Ace. <clears throat> about the phone call. I... What phone call? Get off your high horse, Martin, or is that a jackass? Don't use her. Use her for what? I don't know, Adam. You tell me. Eliza's perfectly happy. How would you know? Where is she? What's it to you? No, Adam, what's it to you? Come on, your fiancé leaves town and doesn't tell you about I respect it? respect her right to privacy. You don't know or you don't care. Do something about this ridiculous obsession you have with my fiance. Buying the station does not necessarily entitle you to the station manager. I don't view Liza as a piece of property. Oh, what do you view her as? Some kind of trophy? No, a spectacular woman that I plan to marry. Oh, gee, Adam, how many have there been? I've lost track of how many spectacular women you've left in your wake. Actually, I think we're in the dead heat on that one. Does this wedding mean anything to you? Why are you wasting my time? Because I don't want to see Liza waste her life. Liza scheduled the affiliates meeting herself. Wanted to work it in around our wedding, so why don't you just wake up? Liza and I are one in the same. We are partners. We are soulmates. And I've done the uh, white rice and old shoe bit. And Liza's certainly not the type to, uh, or to lounge around a salon pampering herself before she zips into her white gown and tiptoes down the aisle. <laughs> We are, 
we're perfect for each other. No false expectations, no stars in our eyes. No need to play the faithful husband. Oh, you're tarring me with your brush, aren't you, my friend? Don't you dare lecture me on the evils of cheating. Liza and I want the same things. Money and power. A partnership based on mutual respect and admiration. Everything but love, right? Oh, yeah. I overheard your little conversation with Brooke about how you don't love Liza. You never have, you never will. And this is a problem for you? Love is a highly overrated form of mental illness. <laughs> That's funny. Most people think of it as kind of a prerequisite to renting the tux. Yeah. What should I do, lie? Feign undying devotion? I don't... I'm not in love with Liza. I do, however, appreciate her beauty and her intelligence. She's exhilarating. This actually might be the marriage that lasts. Until you break her. I <laughs> break Liza? Me? I can, not even I can break steel. No, no, no. Liza is very happy with our joint venture. Love just sort of muddies the waters, Stan. Take you, for instance. You had a perfect marriage, you had a perfect wife. Love didn't hold you together. So, why should the absence of love break Liza and I apart? You go to hell. I have accomplished in a few short months what you haven't been able to do over the course of several years, and that's make a commitment to Liza. You know, the, the enemy of relationships isn't slack of love. It's boredom. Boredom. And believe me, with Liza, I'm never bored. <laughs> and neither is she. I swear, Adam. I swear, if you hurt her, I... What, what, what? You what? What will you do, Ted? What, are you gonna tell her I don't love her? Well, let me tell you. I want you to keep your eyes, your hands, and the, every other part of your anatomy off my fiance. Do I make myself clear? Now, I want you to do the financials for the upcoming uh, affiliates meeting and give a rousing speech on the future of the cutting edge. See you in church. Feel free to bring a date. Life's not dull, Ace. Well, I sort of whined about my life a lot yesterday, and so I'm not going to do that today. Okay. Today I am a contented, engaged woman. Right. Well, a about yesterday, actually, I, I was thinking about our little, little talk, and I've come up with a theory. You have? Yeah. I, I don't know. I, I just think that there doesn't have to be one great single love, Ace. I mean, you, you spend all your time wishing and hoping and and thinking about getting that one, and you're gonna miss all the others that come in and out of your life, you know? Show me these people. Oh, they're out there. They are. You just gotta open your eyes. Well, I, I thought that it had happened for me a, a couple of times, but it wasn't it. Love struck once. There were no encores. Well, where does he live? Mount Olympus? I just know him inside and out. He, he's like a, a, a stone in my shoe. I've been walking around with it since high school. High school? Well, shake it out. I'm trying. Well, then go barefoot. Maybe I will. All right. Yeah. Ace, if this guy is so lame that he doesn't love you, maybe you've been wrong all these years. Maybe he never was the one. You want to have that picnic or what? Let's do it. <laughs>
go to forestry school. Nice try. Forestry school. You're not even close. <laughs> How did you learn all about all this? From my grandmother. Oh, wait. The one with the compound happiness formula? The one and the okay. same. let Adam get to you. Oh, well, how do you ignore a migraine? I could teach you some relaxation therapy. Oh, yeah? Uh -huh. Should I lock the door? <laughs> tonight. Tonight. Oh. First, we'll start with the tree trimming party, Chez Fargate. Ah. Uh -huh. Then dinner for two. My treat. Sounds good. You know something? I know a really, really nice little Italian restaurant off a of merchant. La Colina. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, red checker tablecloths are a real turn on. Then, uh, brandy in front of the fire. An evening with my favorite <laughs> nurse. I don't know if I'm up for it. You're on. Yeah, do me a favor that you gotta let me meet you at Myrtle's because I got some stuff to finish up here first. Okay. Okay. I'll see you then. Ciao, Benna. Mm. 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 Till then. Woof. Adam wants the production contract signed and closed today. Liza seen them? Uh, no, they're standard. Did she call? A little while ago. Where is she? You know? No, nobody knows. Rudy, don't play with me. This is important. I need to speak to her. She said only in an emergency. How would you like to be head production assistant? She made me swear, okay? All right, then how about I pull the plug on today's entire lineup? That nothing emergency Dad, for you? and you wouldn't. Karen, hi. Give me the floor. I think we got a problem with today's feed. Sleepy Halloween, okay? Uh, no. Yeah, it's fine. Forget about it. I think we got the problem sorted out up here. Do you feel small? Yeah. Uh, I feel enormous. Why? Uh, my mother's an emotional dwarf. <laughs> So, Mom's not your role model, huh? Oh, she's a role model of what not to be. Which is what? Don't get me started. Yeah, I got you started. Why not? I, I don't think I'll, uh, I'll stop. Huh. Come on, talk to me. Hmm. You know what? What? I don't have a mother. Oh, well, explain that one to me. I was sprouted from a pod. <laughs> Whoa. Hi, Ted. Hey, Stuart, what's up? I'm just here to pick up Scott. I think uh, Rudy set him down to editing. Oh, I don't mind waiting. Can I wait here? Sure, come on in. You okay? Oh, yeah. Nothing a six-month cruise wouldn't take care of. So, what do you think of the merger? What merger? Liza and Adam starring in the biggest wedding sham of all time. Uh, you think so, too, huh? Oh, yeah. 
Liza's suffering from the delusion that half of this place is going to make up for all the pain Adam's going to cause her. Oh, she can't have half the station. Sure she can. He said it out loud, live and in love on the cutting edge. Well, it's not his to give. I, uh... What's that supposed to mean? Some kind of inside joke? I uh, know. Uh, Adam doesn't own this station. I do. <laughs> Stuart, what do you mean Adam doesn't own the station? What well, he he sort of does, but he uh, uh, really he doesn't. Don't, just no riddles, okay? Just what's the deal? Well, well, sometimes Adam buys things in my name. So you're saying that you're the one that signed all the paperwork when he bought WRCW? Oh yeah, yeah, tons of them. Uh, lawyers and, and and accountants were there. Some something to do with taxes. Stuart, if that's true, then why didn't you say something when he he made the big announcement? Well, um, Adam said that it was good for ratings that people love this kind of thing. Adam Chandler and his money, the greatest love story ever told. Uh, don't tell Adam I told you. He'll well, kill me. If, 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 if what you're saying is true, that means Liza, she's, she's working without a net. I mean, she's committing marital suicide, right? Then don't... That son of a... I should never have opened my big don't, mouth. Don't you worry about it. Just, just don't say anything to Adam, all right? I'll, I'll take care of it. You will? Oh, yeah. You bet your brother's greedy little heart I will. <laughs> That's a good look. Uh, oh. You could have pulled me out faster. What, what do you mean? I tried. I... No, you were doubled over. You were laughing oh, no, at no, me. No, no, I was looking for a stick. Yeah, I needed to take a pull you out of there. <laughs> right. Hey. What are you doing? Just, uh, you're going to freeze to death. I know it. Oh. Well. Ugh. Hold on. Ugh. Ah. There we go. Oh. Better? Yeah. Thanks. Okay. Take your clothes off. What? Get out of those clothes. You're gonna freeze to death and catch pneumonia. I'll, I'll turn. I'm not gonna... Just go over here. Huh? Okay. Okay. Oh, boy. Yeah. Everything's... sticking to me. Blaster to me. Do you need some help? No. I'll manage. These blankets should do the trick. You ready? Uh, yeah. Okay, where are you? Uh, back a little yeah. further. Yeah? Yeah. More? A little further. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Ah, my mother would be proud. Well, your mother. Well, my mother wouldn't be. <laughs> okay. I guess oh, you can turn. You might want this. Who oh. taught you how to wrap a blanket? Oh, it's my special technique. Oh, do you mind if I... for the circulation. I have no circulation. <laughs> Don't worry, Ace. You're in good hands. I'll have you warm in no time. Exactly cashmere. No, but it's dry. <laughs> so it's sandpaper. But not as gently applied. You cold? Oh, hey, yeah. we'll get closer to the fire. Yeah. Oh. Is that better? Yeah. Take it you're not a I think you're not a camper. Oh, uh, fell asleep at my desk a couple of times. Mm. That count? I don't think so. But no early morning wind sprints? 
uh, down Central Park West for a cab. Urban to the bone, huh? Oh, yeah. You, you saw me fall in the pond. Mm -hmm. And where did you get your rescue techniques, by My the way? rescue techniques? <laughs> um, actually, I learned them in a scout handbook. I think it was chapter five or something. So saving me was just routine scout procedure. I wouldn't call you routine. Oh, cognac. Your owner has taste. No. Or at least he did before he succumbed to pneumonia. Or pickled his liver with this stuff. <laughs> yeah, just a, a nip uh, for first aid emergencies, medicinal purposes, you know. Right. Well, liquor is no cure for hypothermia. In old westerns, it is. Oh, trust me. I know about these things. So I assume you have badges to prove this. <laughs> no. I am a couple arrowheads short. I wish I'd been a scout. Why? Well, I never learned basic survival skills. What? Kayaking? Macrame? Rubbing two sticks to form a fire? Uh, no, protecting myself from slings and arrows. Well, I don't think they teach those things in the trailblazers, Ace. They should. Well, slings and arrows, part of life. I mean, you couldn't dodge them if you held up in a cave. No, but I'm sure there are certain strategies for protection. What, like hiding your heart under a rock? No. Uh, adjusting my expectations. Giving up on what you really want. Making peace with what's available. Marrying a man that you don't even love. Well, I'm sorry, I just... <laughs> I guess the scout handbook is a little weak on tact. Tact is artificial sweetener. I can take my reality straight. Uh, well, why the look? to pour ice water down your back. Because I'm on a reality break. Oh. Leave from your engagement? Mm-hmm. Well, that doesn't bode well for marital bliss. Well, bliss is a fragrance I can do without. What about passion? I had mine. Thanks very much. Some guy from high school? You call that giving it a shot? Well, have you ever heard of adaptation for survival? Have you ever heard of if at first you don't succeed? Once bitten, twice shy. Settling for second best is the surest way to fail. If you could be... <laughs> More if? What's this? Wait a minute. Okay. Just listen to me. All if right. you could be anywhere. Listen. Okay. Mm -hmm. No, no schlepping, no, um... No people, no lines, mm -hmm. no crowds, nothing. No bags. Where would you be? Anywhere in the world. Us? Yeah. Here? Dare I be flattered? Oh, I just um, don't have much of an imagination. <laughs> you, can, uh, you can imagine Paris, can't you? Mm-hmm. Bergman, Bogey, and Bacall. Uh, okay. You no. Know, Rome. White. Yeah. The Ivory Coast, uh, Rio. I mean, what, what are those places? What does this place have that, that, that isn't there? Just curious. No phone or fax. Nobody asking me my opinion. Nothing to buy or sell. Mm. I've got something for you. It's, um, it's, I know you're a careful shopper. And it's totally free. Only for you, though. What are you selling? A small homing device. For what? It's, it's personal use. I see. Well, I know my way home. But do you really want to be there? That's a separate issue. No, au contraire. I mean, home is home isn't just a place. It's a it's a person who I don't know somebody who makes you feel alive. Somebody who comes alive comes alive with you. So. 
What does this homing device look like? It is completely portable. Really? Yeah. It has uh, separate components that go here and here. Have you found your home? Once. What happened? Nothing. Nothing good. Don't settle, Ace. Don't, don't give up. Hold out for everything that you deserve. What makes you think I deserve anything? It's just a feeling. What feeling? Colby, C O L B Y. I'm sorry, we don't give out the names of our I kids. I know, I know, and I understand about your policy, whatever it is, but like I said, this is urgent. In that case, I'll tell you. No, there's nobody registered by that name. Okay, all right, all right, fine. No, Liza Colby. What about um, this woman? Have you seen her? I didn't feel it yet. Something. Okay. It's uh, the hope factor. Hard to miss. I'm not familiar with that phenomenon. This picture's kind of old, you know. Uh, she could have changed. Her hair is short and red. No, it's not. Excuse me, I am very busy. Look, I am not some kind of crazed ex-husband. I promise you, this is on the up and up. Please, is this the face of a serial killer? Do I know you? I should certainly hope so. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm on television five days a week. Oh, the cutting edge. You're Ted right, Martin. Right, and this woman is my executive producer. Charlotte Vale? Charlotte Vale? She registered under Charlotte... Well, um, where exactly is Miss Vale? On some ocean voyage? No, she took a walk. this before. What? No pressure. No plan. Your secret wish to be irresistible? Not a wish. It's a fantasy. Mm. I don't think so. This is very real. Look, we've been a, been a going. 